What's up guys? Sam here. Welcome back to another video. It is about 9.30 in the morning, so good morning. I'm tired. I did not sleep <laughs> very well. My face is still puffy from literally just rolling out of bed five minutes ago. Um, but I thought that I would come back today and do another video and I thought I would do an updated what I eat in a day. I made one months ago, maybe even a year ago. I don't even fully, no, I think I made one over the summer. Anyway, irrelevant, but some things have changed since then. So I thought that I would do an updated one. Now I don't eat the same thing every single day. So that's why sometimes I don't know how to make these videos. So as I go throughout the day, with every meal, I'll kind of show you other options that I may have other days just so you can maybe get an idea of what I eat, what I buy, and yeah. So if you're interested at all, then just keep on watching. So breakfast actually hasn't changed for me at all. That's like the one thing that really hasn't changed that much. Pretty much every day, six days a week, at least I will have two hard boiled eggs along with some other fruit we'll get to in a second but I will boil these in advance so I'll boil like six to eight at a time and just keep a big bowl in the fridge and then every day I just grab two I usually grab them and take them to work or on a day off like today I will just eat them you know at home as one would do but then just the two eggs, normally not really enough for me. So I always try to have some sort of fruit with my breakfast here, I'll show you. So every week when I go grocery shopping, these are usually my three fruit staples that I like to have on hand throughout the week so that I can have them with my breakfast and just snack on them throughout the day. So I have just some regular blueberries. The brand never really you know, matters to me. I kind of just grab what I see. So blueberries, some nice fresh strawberries, Although it's not really strawberry season anymore, so they're not as good as they usually are, but that's okay. I still like them. And then my favorite snack of all time, some green grapes. And yeah, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to have today, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And then with my breakfast, I always have one of these. This is a 32-ounce bottle. Throughout the day, I have four of them. That equals up to a gallon. This does have a top, but I'm cleaning it and letting it soak, so I just put a little straw in here. Um, but yeah, I usually try to down this. I don't have to finish it with breakfast necessarily because that is kind of a lot But the few hours after breakfast, you know, I'll use that time to um, Finish drinking it. I'll usually have that done by lunchtime so that I can drink another one So when I don't have my two eggs for breakfast, sometimes I do like a treat myself breakfast so I'll make a smoothie bowl with frozen blueberries almond milk Greek yogurt and I'll blend that all up in the Nutribullet. And then I will add a granola. This is my favorite granola. It's mom's best cereals. Yeah, and this is the blueberry flax granola. So good. And then I will try to add some protein in it because I do want to have protein as much as I can in every meal. So I'll, this is the protein powder I use just light protein it's vanilla cake flavor it's just vanilla flavored really and i'll do like a scoop of that in there mm. i'll show you one of my other sources of protein that i really like these are luna protein bars the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor each one has like 12 grams of protein in there i don't eat these often you have to be very careful with these because it says protein so people are like "Ooh, like that's like healthy ish but you gotta be careful of the sugar. They do have fat, etc., etc. But every once in a while, if I don't, like say I ran out of eggs or I have a long day and I'm not really gonna be able to have a meal when I want to, I'll throw one of these in my bag. It does keep me full. One of them is 180 calories. Um, so like a slightly, a few more calories than what two big boiled eggs would be. And it feels like a little treat for me because I feel like I'm eating a chocolate bar. So it's kind of like a win-win. If any of you remember from some of my old, like what I eat in a day videos or morning routine videos or whatever, I used to have two or one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar every morning. Every morning. I did that for maybe like five months straight or something. Um, I've stopped doing that in the last couple weeks and I'll get into why in another video. Um, I don't think it's bad but i don't think it's this like 
special miracle thing that people think it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go upstairs, shower, get ready for the day. I actually have a nail appointment in like half an hour because I don't know if you can tell, things are starting to peel, things aren't looking too hot in this area. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get that taken care of. Um, I will finish drinking the rest of this probably as I get ready. It's only like a quarter left or so. And I will see you guys at lunchtime. Welcome back. Good afternoon. So I'm back home. Nails are looking a lot uh, better than they did before. There you go. They were uh, slightly embarrassing before, but it's okay. So I'm getting ready to put together a little salad. This has been my go-to salad probably for like the last two weeks or so. I don't eat it every day, but definitely at least like three times a week. It's what I've been averaging. So I'll show you, it's literally three things plus dressing, but I love it. So this is a bag of baby spinach and spring mix. Pretty self-explanatory, just the one that Stop and Shop puts together. And then I've been putting like two slices of this mozzarella cheese in there. I don't know if you could see that. There you go. It's been already cut in two. I wonder by who, me. Um, but it's already, it comes pre-sliced and so I'll put like two slices in there. And then I have some boar's head roasted turkey breast um, as like a source of protein. So let me start cutting all this open. So I have my bowl here and I'm just gonna start to fill that up. I am weird and I like to rip up my lettuce or my you know salad, whatever I'm eating, just because it's less messy for me when I'm trying to eat like huge leaves that are covered in dressing and I end up with dressing like all over my chin and it's just, it's irritating to me. So I usually take about three big handfuls or so of lettuce and I just kind of rip that all apart. Okay, so that looks about good. And then for the cheese, I said I'm gonna take about two slices and I just kind of, again, just rip them up. Granted, yes, I could cut all of this <laughs> with a knife. It's just so much faster to just use my hands and then just wipe them off afterwards. So I'm gonna put another slice. Anyone who knows me well knows how obsessed I am with cheese and I could eat that whole roll of mozzarella cheese by itself with nothing else. And I'm not ashamed of it, I'm really not. As a kid who didn't really drink milk, that was my source of calcium. So whatever. So there you go. They're all chopped up in there. And now the turkey I find near my deli station at the supermarket, so it is pre-sliced already, which is good. Ooh, they cut it very thin this time around, but that's okay, because I'm gonna shred it up anyway. So there's one piece, and I take usually two slices as well. Sometimes, depending on how hungry I am, I'll take a third and I'll just eat it on its own before I even eat the salad. Um, but for the actual salad, I'm just gonna rip up two pieces and I get the smoked turkey just because I feel like it adds a little bit more flavor, but you could totally get regular turkey. I also have turkey burgers in the freezer from Trader Joe's, which I absolutely love. And I could even put, put one of those on the stove, cook it for like less than 15 minutes and then chop that up and put that in here. So turkey is shredded, cheese is shredded. And I'll show you what my favorite dressing is. So this is the Ken's Steakhouse Balsamic Vinegar. I hated balsamic vinegar for the longest time when I was a picky kid and teenager. But in the last year, this is my favorite. And as I've been trying to, you know, eat healthier, I kind of tried to give up the ranch and the blue cheese and, you know, all those dressings that are so good but they're very creamy and you know very thick and heavy so I try to kind of you know ease back from those a little bit so in any kind of salad really this is my my go-to lately all right so let me see if I could show you a little bit of what it looks like I wish it was more colorful I know people like to put cherry tomatoes in their salad I would do it just so that it looked better, but I just don't like tomatoes, so there's just no point for me. 
So that's it. It's got protein. It's got a little bit of fats from cheese and a little bit of calcium. It's got the greens. And then I'll probably have some sort of fruit with it as well. Okay, sorry I keep switching camera angles, but I want it to sit so that I could eat. So I just mix it all up and I'm just going to dive in. It literally wouldn't be complete without the smoked turkey taste or else it would be kind of on the bland side. Also, do you see how much easier it is since I ripped everything up? I've got some strawberries here that I'll probably cut up and just snack on those a little bit. And I have my second bottle of the day, which I kind of already started on. And that's it. So I'm just going to eat a little bit and then I will show you guys some of my snacks that I like to eat throughout the day or before or after a workout. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so welcome to our little snack cabinet. Not the most organized, but we won't talk about that. Um, these are one of my favorite snacks to munch on just when I wanna munch on something, not necessarily when I'm hungry. These are the Quaker white cheddar rice cakes. So we've got five grams of whole grains and they're like 40 calories or something like that. Okay, 45. That's nothing for one of these. They're not really gonna like fill you up completely, but they're just a nice little fun snack. Pre-workout, after workout, sometimes I'll bring one to work and just have like a little extra something to snack on. And then on the same wavelength, I have these. Same brand, same everything else, except these are the lightly salted. These, not gonna lie, taste a little bit like cardboard. So these I'll eat when I put like a layer of peanut butter on top, maybe some bananas, really good pre-workout snack. 35 calories, so a little bit less than the white cheddar ones. Um, but it's really, it is a nice snack with peanut butter. I will give it that. And let's see, I have these. These are from Trader Joe's. These are the peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. I get the ones with no salt, but you can get the salted as well. These are a little bit on the blander side. If I buy them again, I definitely will buy the salted ones, but I'll just grab like a handful of these and that's like a little bit of protein, definitely fills you up with just a little bit of them. And this bag has lasted me actually a really long time. So definitely a good Trader Joe's find. And I have these little guys, which I try not to eat too often, but these are the Made Good Granola Minis. They're little mini granola balls like that. I think that's actually true to size. And they've got granola, oats, some banana chunks, and some chocolate chips in there. This bag, I think is 100, yeah, it's 100 calories. It does have a decent amount of like sodium and fat and all that, so. This is like a rare snack, but they're so good. This is like a treat yourself little snack here. So, love these. Um, we do have these. This is pretty good. This is one bag of skinny popcorn, 100 calories a bag. They don't really taste like much. They're not really salty, but they are a nice little snack. There's like a little hint of salt, and that's about it. So, they are on the bland side, but look at that. It's got no GMO, gluten-free all that good stuff. So these are nice to have on hand as well. So these are usually like, <laughs> don't mind that hair dryer right there, don't know why that's there. Um, these are like my kind of go-to sort of snacks here, um, plus my fresh fruit. So just to kind of give you a little idea. Hey guys, so quick outfit change. I'm getting ready to go and get a workout in but I have to do the next round of this slow cooker recipe. So earlier today, I turned the crock pot on, I put about a pound of chicken breasts in there, chicken stock, I put two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of curry powder, and diced tomatoes. And I've been letting that sit in here for about three hours, mm, close to four actually. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some black beans, some frozen corn, and some brown rice. All right, so you can see the tomatoes are rising to the top a little bit. We have the chicken cooking in there, which I will shred after about eight hours of cooking or so. But there's some chicken stock in there, some juices from the chicken as well. So that'll be perfect for the rice to cook in. All right, so I have a cup of brown rice 
that's going to cook nice in there. Then I'm gonna add about a cup of frozen sweet yellow corn, which I'm very excited about. So that's gonna make it nice and sweet and delicious. Then I have a cup of black beans here that I'm gonna rinse and drain, so one second. All right, so everything is in there for now. I'm gonna try my best to just give it a stir, kinda hard because the whole chicken is still in there, so I can't really stir it completely. But basically you want everything to be submerged. That's why I'm stirring it. I wanna make sure all the rice is down there in the liquid. You want the chicken to be covered as well. If you have to add more chicken stock, you totally can. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this up and I'm gonna let this do its thing for the next three, four hours while I go work out and do laundry and do what I gotta do. So that's why the slow cooker is such a lifesaver and I wish you guys could smell this right now. It smells so good. So I have this on low and I'm just gonna let it do its thing and I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, so after about eight, eight and a half hours in the slow cooker, I took the chicken out. You just take two forks and you literally just pull it apart and shred it and then you dump it back into the slow cooker, mix it all together and you get these beauties. I chose to put some cheese on the top. I had just put the cheese on, but if you let it sit for a while, it'll melt. And even with all that, I still had leftovers, so obsessed. <laughs> okay guys, well I think that's going to be it for today's video. Dinner was amazing. It was worth the eight and a half hours that it took to cook. It took forever. So worth it. It was a lot more filling than I thought it would be. That was my first time trying that recipe, by the way. I will try my best to find the link again and put it in the description in case you want to try out those burrito bowls for yourself. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was very impromptu, but I hope it gave you a little insight into what my day-to-day -day eating looks like. Um, I can for sure do another one in the future because I'm sure it's going to change again. So just let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.